एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू आवर चैनल देसी डुओ एक्सप्लोरर्स होप यू आर इंजॉइंग आवर स्पेन ट्रेवल सीरीज एंड इफ यू हैवेंट वॉच डिट येट क्लिक ऑन द इन्फो लिंक टू वॉच इट इन टूडेज वीडियो वी विल एक्सप्लोर द सिटी ऑफ आर्ट्स एंड साइंस वेलेंसिया सो लेट्स स्टार्ट As you have seen in our previous video, we took a bus from the city center to reach here. The City of Arts and Sciences is a cultural and architectural complex in the city of Valencia, Spain. It is the most important modern tourist destination in the city of Valencia and one of the 12 treasures of Spain. It's a fusion of art, science and nature beautifully encapsulated in a striking modern architecture. After reaching there, first we made our way to visit Oceanographic. It is an aquarium where different marine habitats are represented. architecture itself is breathtaking and the variety of species housed here is impressive it is the largest aquarium in europe and also boasts the longest underwater tunnel on the continent which facilitates close up views of sharks
it's really huge and requires a lot of walking so be prepared There are also food places inside it from where you can grab some snacks and foods. They have everything from tropical fish to birds to penguins. You will find the map and signboards everywhere inside it to reach and enjoy this place. For us, the most exciting attraction was watching penguins. Oceanographic is the most visited building in the whole complex and you will need at least 4 to 5 hours to explore it. Next we went to visit Science Museum. Its building has a futuristic design that resembles the skeleton of a whale. This is an interactive museum that includes three floors. The bottom is the main concourse building including admission, a cafe and a restaurant. On the first floor you will find the Pixar exhibition which exhibits how Pixar does their animations which was really interesting. We were blown away by how much work goes into making the famous films come to life. There were many familiar statues and models of characters along with the interactive booths to give your hands-on experience with the techniques used to make these characters and scenes. The next floor is dedicated to the science exhibition. The interactive exhibits and displays were captivating, providing a fascinating journey into the world of art and science.
Also on this floor, there is an exhibit dedicated to space travel, which includes a walk-in projection, which was really cool. The exhibitions were absolutely stunning. They were very impressive and informative. This is a great place for groups of all ages with lots to see and do. The top floor included the vast chromosome forest which exhibits about the human DNA. There were a lot of practical examples of how the human body is formed, it functions, visiting the science museum we made our way to hemisphere as we had booked an amazon show the architecture was stunning and the interior was just beautiful The show was displayed on a 180 degree screen, a very nice and unique experience. This building is a singular and spectacular building designed by Santiago Caltrava which represents the great human eye the eye of wisdom This element symbolizes the look and observation of the world that visitor discover through the surprising audio visual projections Next we made our way to the Umbracal beautiful garden with absolutely amazing architecture. It's a great place to walk or bike riding. We didn't get much time to spend there as it was already dark while exploring other places. With this, we wrapped up our visit to the City of Arts and Science. Hope you enjoyed the beautiful exploration as much as we did and see you in our next video where we will continue our exploration of Spain in Barcelona. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like share subscribe and hit the notification bell for more travel adventures